It's, it's always a pleasure to come to Campbell. It is such a great community. And um, I have to tell you that there aren't very many um, events where we do, you know, a, a rather modest refurbishing of a facility and have a big celebration. And, um, you know, as I'm dancing around this lovely pole, you know, it's, it's something that I, I'm sure we will take care of when your new building um, gets off the ground. Um, Campbell's a real special place. The JPA board met for many years in this very room, um, and uh, it, was, it was the first place that I came to a meeting uh, when, when I joined the library nine years ago. And it's, uh, it's been a very exciting time for libraries. We've seen sort of a, not only a rebirth of our facilities, but um, you know, a, kind of a, a, a rapid and, and increasing speed of uh, movement toward digital and all those tough decisions about books and the importance of reading still regardless of whether it's a device or in print. And I know that Campbell um, as a community still embraces the story times and the coming together for the travel programs and the deep relationships. I know there are representatives here of your community center and your senior center and your museums and it's just a community that works. So. It's a real treat, and um, I'm certainly not responsible for this space nearly so much as the rest of the staff and, um, and the friends who will be contributing, and then, of course, the board, the governing board, of which Jason Baker is a member now. So congratulations, really, to all of you. I know I've been involved uh, before on this and trying to get a, a brand new library, but in the meantime, it looks great. So. Thank you very much, uh, you guys, for all your work and everybody for helping out with the city. Um, Mayor Baker has had to go to another meeting, uh, so he had to run. And so I, I wanted to say this on behalf of him and the entire council that we're really happy with what's come out here and how you're able to make everything work. So thank you very much. There are a lot of electronic forms of literature and so on, the importance of sometimes it's just having a book in your hand. So there are things that we want our kids to respect, to encourage them to continue along the way and enjoy the, the, the gifts of reading and being able to explore their world, their entire worlds. Uh, books gives us, gives us the opportunity to explore a world that is beyond our own imagination. And so our kids greatly benefit from the books here at our library. The librarians have come out to our schools. We bring our kids here. They're, uh, always opening the library for us to uh, allow our students and parents to be a part of it. Uh, we thank you guys so much for what you do. We can't, I can't say enough for the work that you've done. This is a beautiful facility. A lot of great work has been done, and many of you have taken the time to either contribute through donations, such as Friends of the Library. I know we've worked with the uh, uh, various uh, city council members in the city and other organizations in the school to make sure we have a great library. Having come from Southern California, I can tell you, love Campbell, love what we have here. <laughs> love here. So thank you guys very much. Again. I will relate to you a story. I consider it a success when a member of the public walks in the door, stops, stares, and says, Ah, fantastic, just what we've always needed. And they need it in Los Altos, too. <laughs> That's an inside joke, because I used to manage at Los Altos Library. But you and got it first. <laughs> we got it first. <laughs>
upstairs, I want you to notice the teen zone. We worked really hard with the designer to kind of corral, and that's exactly what we did. We corralled <laughs> the space with some uh, special partitions in order to create a space that's just for teens. And inside that space are now some computers that they can use and, and study tables, and it's completely surrounded by the materials that are of interest to teens. Adjacent to that and outside of that area is a special reading area with lounge chairs, coffee tables, um, right next to the windows. The Storytime alcove features a lot more storage space. Um, a designer was able to create space where we thought we really didn't have any. Just the back side of a shelving unit became closet space. Shallow, but closet space wherein we have stored a number of things. If you give a children's librarian a closet, <laughs> we also want you to notice the Lego table in the picture book it's area. It's in the midst of that area. It's become a favorite of all the little kids that are coming in. We have a new display case to feature uh, monthly um, collections. I don't know if you're all aware, but the children in our community can sign up to feature uh, a collection that they might have. And uh, they can do that for a month. And we are sometimes booked a year in advance. Um, for that, and then also there's a new display of new children's items, and you'll see our new picture books and our new fiction for children on that display. And I want to point out that a lot of the chairs that are out there feature the cutout of an orchard tree, because Campbell is the orchard city. So we got really lucky to be able to put that little feature in and kind of bring uh, our whole theme together here. Thank you very much. Thank you.